Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to export your music in Logic Pro X for the Unreal Engine so that you can access cue points in MetaSound. So for this demo, I'm going to use a track called Pulling Strings of Mine that was just used on the History Channel's America's Greatest Heists starring Pierce Brosnan, James Bond, one of my favorite actors. So I was super pumped to have some music in that show. So we're gonna use that cue and show you how you can add cue points in Logic Pro X that you can then use in the Unreal Engine to access via MetaSounds. So let's jump in. Okay, so I'm in Logic Pro 10.7. I've pulled my WAV file in, it's called Pulling Strings. And uh, it's just a little string quartet, sounds kind of like this. Got a little bit of a build. Got a breakdown here. Big part. And it's got a little sting ending. And so what I want to do is I want to put some cues in here. Um, and it's really simple. So here's what you do. You, in Logic, you pull up the marker window. Make sure that's open. If it's not, check and make sure that this drop down is on. Go in marker. And then I'm just going to input create marker one. I'm gonna call this intro. And then I'm gonna jump to right here, which is kind of the next natural peak in the music. We'll call that B. Uh, and then we'll go, let's see where we wanna go here. Just kind of, that's a nice spot right there. Call that C. Then I can just look at the wave. I want to go here and do another marker. That's marker four. We're going to call that break down. Then we're going to go here and we're going to call that, we're going to call this back. Oh, we'll call this back in. We'll call this D. We're going to go here. This is where there's an edit point and a riser. We'll just call this edit. Oh, no, we'll call this riser. Sounds like this. <laughs> And then here's back in, we'll call that E. Then this part gets big here. Call this F. We'll call this, this is kind of where the ending starts. We'll call this ending. And then we'll call this last one stinger. Call this sting, because that's just what it is. We may want to jump to that at some point. Okay, so we got all our markers here. We've got the region set to, so that it's exactly that. Oh yeah, by the way, I also meant to say this. Make sure that you have the tempo set properly. This song is at 160 BPM. That's important uh, if you want everything to work kind of in time, which is kind of nice. So I've got all that set. I've got my region selected. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to select all. And then I'm going to hit Command B. That's going to let me bounce. I'm going to bounce this offline. I'm going to include tempo information. Why not? And then I am going to bounce this, call this whatever you want. I'm going to call this pulling strings Q10, bounce it, and there it is. And then uh, we're going to pull that into the Unreal Engine, and you're going to see how easy it is to uh, work with cue points. Okay, so once you have your song exported from Logic Pro with the cue points in there, you're going to import it into your Unreal session. And uh, I'm just gonna bring it in under Logic Pro XQs, which I already have right here. Pulling strings cued 10. I have 10 cue points in my track. It is a full length track. Um, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a, create a meta sound over here. We're gonna create a meta sound source. We're gonna call that uh, meta sound pulling strings demo. Okay, we're gonna double click on that to open it up and get this blank meta sound interface. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a wave player. I like to go stereo, that's just the kind of guy I am. I'm gonna click on wave over to meta sound, convert that to stereo. Then I'm gonna get two outputs over here. I'm gonna get left, I'm gonna get right. Now, I'm gonna put this on, on play. Now I'm gonna select the wave asset called pulling strings. Cued 10, that's my file. If you play, you'll hear that. Okay, so that's a normal file. It's just gonna play all the way through like it would normally. But now we're gonna test it to make sure we got cues in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull off a print string from here. 
and we're going to print it to the log just so we can see what's happening. So we're going to go on cue point. We're going to trigger it. So basically every time that audio file passes a cue point, it's going to trigger that print log. It's going to print the cue point ID. So the cue point ID is the actual number of the cue. Every cue point has an ID. Um, zero, one. Actually, it doesn't start at zero. It, maybe it does, but you'll see in a minute here. It, it, it's weird. It starts at two on mine. But, um, and then the label of the cue point. So like in the session that we did, I labeled the intro, the first cue point intro. So we're going to print that also as label. So now when we play this, we'll be able to see in the output log right here what's happening. Every time it gets to a cue point, there you go. So now it just hit cue point A3, so we know our cue points are working now. Um, our next cue point is going to be B. We'll see here in just one second. There it is. There's B triggering. Oh, you know what I did wrong though? Let's see here. Yeah, that's right. Let's see, try that again. Okay, so for some reason it doesn't start on one. The QID starts on two, which is kind of weird. Not sure why that's happening. If any of y'all know why that's happening, uh, throw a comment in the comment section because I would love to. I'd love to have that mirror exactly the markers. But either Logic defaults marker one to number two, or something's happening in Unreal that's referring to that as the second marker, even though it's actually the first marker. Here it's gonna to go to the break section right here. So that's the breakdown. And see, so since we labeled it, you can see the labels coming up too, which is extremely cool. So that's all there is to it. You can actually export WAV files in Logic Pro with cue points that the Unreal Engine can read. And obviously that opens up an entire world of what you're able to do with these sounds. You can do all sorts of things now. I can trigger things from random parts of the song. I can do arrangements and all kinds of stuff like that. I'll have some more videos coming in the future for that. But I wanted to throw that out there because if you Google right now, um, you'll find a lot of things that say Logic Pro does not allow you to add cue points. That is not true. It's simply markers that are, are interpreted by Unreal Engine as cue points. So anyways, hope uh, if you're a Logic Pro X user and an Unreal Engine user that this was a helpful video. We'll see you in a future video.